Hello everyone, welcome back to My Heavenly Babies. I'm Angel and I'm back today to share Sarah Lynn. Sarah Lynn is a baby that I worked on for D, and she also got rooted. Um, she had some peeling and she just wanted the lip color changed a little bit because the lip color um, the baby had kind of looked almost like a white shiny lipstick back in the 70s they used to have. So it was a little bit light. So I fixed up the lips and then of course um, fixed all her peeling, uh, lightened her skin tone down just a little bit. And, um, and then of course gave her a uh, double seal. She actually got a triple seal on her. She needed it. Um, as she was taking it pretty strong, so she had kind of a powder look to her a little bit, um, but I was able to, um, you know, get rid of that. Um, but anyway, she turned out so beautiful. I also rerouted her eyelashes uh, because, of course, if I'm painting a baby, I got to pull the lashes out to paint and all that. And she didn't have the same color eyelashes as it would have been the hair. She wanted a dark brown hair, so that's what she has, and she's just stunning. So I'm going to bring her up to the camera and show you. And I will show you the before and after photos. Now, it was really hard to get um, great before and after photos because the way the uh, lighting was and everything when I took them before I worked on her. But that's okay. Her mommy will see when she gets home how beautiful she is. And she wants this elephant. She saw that elephant and she's been hugging onto that elephant. So that elephant's going home with her. It's brand new. It's going home with her and a few other things. Also, along with the onesie she has on, the socks. Her bow will come with her, um, and of course some surprises. Auntie always sends some surprises home with the babies. But yeah, she's all done and ready to be shipped home. We're gonna ship her home on Monday. I'm gonna enjoy her for a few more days and um, get her home, you know, boxed up and get her home and on her way on Monday. All right, so let me show you Sarah Lynn. Can I have your elephant? She is just sound asleep. This little girl is tuckered out. Auntie's been having a lot of fun with her. But anyways, I'm gonna get her up to the camera and show you, and I'll bring her up like this, and I'm gonna show you right here, and I'll do the before picture right next to it there. As you can see, she was bald before, and you see the beautiful lashes she has now. I also uh, darkened the eyebrows a little bit because as I was painting her, um, her eyebrows were already so light, and um, not that babies have to have dark eyebrows, but she does have dark hair. So it really kind of took it away as I was painting it. So we did darken them a little bit for her. I talked to Dee and that's what she wanted, but look at that beautiful lip color now compared to the other one on the side there, as you see. But yeah, she is stunning. Look at that beautiful rooted hair. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And it is long enough, I was telling Dee if she wanted to do a ponytail, but there it is all the way around. She's been laying on her hair but it goes all the way around. I mean, it goes all the way around. Of course it goes all the way around. <laughs> but anyways, it's just so pretty. If you see, that's a very pretty color. And I did two tones, um, a medium brown and a dark brown. So it's got highlights and lowlights in it, which is so pretty. And Dee will see that when she gets her. But anyways, there she is. There's her beautiful lips now. She had a lot of peeling even on her lips. She still has her uh, milk blister there though. I left that there. And she's just so pretty. I redid and did some in the ears. She also wanted mottling as she didn't have any mottling or veining. So she does have that through her head on the sides here. Um, you'll be able to see that D when you get her in person. But as we go down, I'll show you. As we go down, you'll see um, she's got the veining on her hand. And I hope you can see that good. Let's see if we can clear this up a little bit. She's got the veining on her hand. She's got the veining to the inside of the wrist there. Um, and the mottling, look at that beautiful mottling. I also worked on the creases, as you see. And if you see any little white specks, like I said, that is just the seal took, you know, I had to do it three times, but that eventually will come up. But it's was, was really powdery before. But there you can see the veining on the inside of the wrist there and on the hand there. Again, you'll see it so much better in person. There she is there. Let me take off her sock. Um, you can see she's got all that beautiful mottling now, and you'll see before and afters what I'm talking about. She's got the beautiful veining on the inside of the leg there, also on the bottom of the foot, and I did uh, fix some of the creases there. Her toes were already good, but of course I redid the moisture areas. Look at that mottling. Wow, right? Look at that vein. Oh, she is stunning. She's got a vein in the bottom of that foot as well. So yeah, she is just a stunning baby. Is she getting blurred? <laughs> Look at that Motling D. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my goodness, she is so pretty. Just a little piece of fuzz there. There's the back of her legs and the Motling there. She just is so, so stunning. 
She really is. Mottling really makes a big difference when you don't have mottling on a baby doesn't give it that much of a realistic look in the veins. So I just did slight veins she wanted and she told me the areas, but there she is. Look at how different she looks. Let's throw another one up again there. Look at how different she looks. She's so pretty with the new hair and everything. But yeah, there she is. She is excited to go home and then I will be working on Emma's baby, which is Freya. Freya's just gonna get, um, um, her paint is just slightly, uh, um, just kind of just coming off a little bit, not really peeling, but just kind of fading. So I'm going to be working and hoping that I can fix that. And that baby is the same as like my Penelope baby I have. Um, so I'll do that. That one's already rooted. So I just got to um, just do that one, make sure she's in frame good here and not blurry. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll be working on Freya. And then after that, I'll be working on Chris's Lucy. I'm excited to get to that one as well, um, as that one's been a little bit of trouble she's had with that one for a while, so I can't wait for her to get Lucy home. But there is sweet Sarah Lynn, and like I said, she will come home with some gifts from Auntie, as I always do that. Now, when I do my um, cell babies, of course, I always send a lot more with them because they're, you know, ones that I paint to purposely sell, and they come with the bigger box opening. But every baby that I do work on will come home with gifts from their Auntie and I just enjoy having them here. But anyway, she is stunning. She is beautiful and ready to come home. And I had, and you know, just so much fun working on her, giving her hair. It's just so pretty. And this hair is really pretty because it can also be curly. You can scrunch it up, D. You can get it wet and scrunch it to be curly. You can just keep straightening it as you go along and keep, you know, getting it wet or um, doing like a detangular to soften it. It softens more. It's a very soft hair. You're gonna see when you get it's a very soft, beautiful hair. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty and I love that I did the two-tone in there because it just seemed a little bit light with that medium brown. It said dark brown, but it was more medium. So I added in some dark brown that I had some, I didn't have a lot to do the whole head like that. And I think it looks better with the two-tone like that. I think it would have been too dark uh, for her. So I like the two-tone in there. But yeah, she's stunning, beautiful and ready to come home to her mommy. She's enjoyed her time with her auntie, but it's now due time to go back home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wait till the end and you will get to see her before and after. Like I said, I did the best I could for photos, but you're going to get the gesture of she had, you know, no mottling and the skin tone's a little, you know, a little bit different. It couldn't do a lot because um, when you're working with skin tones, you don't want to do too much to change things because it can actually make it worse. And you don't want to do, <coughs> excuse me, too much because it can also wrinkle silicone um, along with her lips. Um, I didn't want to do too much again because if I would have went like more red, it was changing it. Uh, it wasn't looking realistic, so I just went lighter with it and everything. And I just think it's a lot better than the color it was. I think her mom is really going to enjoy her. She is stunning and just so pretty. She really is. She really turned out pretty. She's a very pretty, pretty sculpt. She really is. She's a partial silicone. So, yeah, we had a lot of fun. I'm going to miss you a little, Sarah Lynn. But I had fun having you here. And Mommy's ready for you to come home. Uh, she will come with some gifts, so I'm sure Dee will do an unboxing of her. Just make sure to cover the labels. <laughs> some people forget that, uh, you know, covering the labels, and then they have to redo the video. And I like to get that first initial wow, you know, when they open it. So, but anyways, there she is, Sarah Lynn, and she's coming home with this elephant. She wanted that. She's been hugging on to that the whole time. I don't know if she likes elephants or what, but she liked that one. So, anyways, I love you guys very much. Sarah Lynn will blow her mommy a kiss. Mwah! And that's to all her aunties and uncles, grandmas and grandpas out there, and all of her little cousins. I love you guys as well. Mwah. D, an extra one for you. Mwah. I hope you will enjoy and love her. She is sealed very good now. As you know, I use a very great seal, a very expensive seal. There are many different uh, silicone paints and seals from, you know, very cheap ones to very expensive. And I use expensive seals on my babies to really give them, you know, the, the babies that I take in and the babies I paint so that they go home and they last and last and last. So, all right, you guys. I hope all of you guys are staying well. I hope you're having a beautiful weekend, and I love you very much. But remember that God loves you the most. Everybody take care. God bless, and we will see each and every one of you in our very next upload.